Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 14 Crew Mode Part 23. We're going to Watkins Glen this part, the second and final road course race of the season. And I think I could win it. I think I can. I'll talk about it in the race, but I, I think I, I think I know how to cheese it. So, uh, standings, we're good, obviously. We do have another winner that kind of got his way in. That was obviously Jeff Gordon a couple of races ago, and also... Uh, Vickers. Yep. So now he's a winner. So yeah, the season's been weird with with winners. So we're not gonna go all out with the setup. We're gonna save that for uh, Bristol. So we're just gonna kind of put in basic stuff here. We'll go with that car, but we're not gonna go with anything too crazy here. And that that about do it. And we'll go right into qualifying and uh, show you the settings and get into everything like usual. Here's our weekend settings, 100% difficulty, 18 laps, 20% race length, 3 times tire and fuel, caution black flags on, and damage on full. So, we'll get right into qualifying, and hope that we kind of get a decent start and not be too far in the back. Check your outside. Come on, buddy. Oof, that's, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Despite that very obvious fail there in that one corner, we move on to the next round. We got first there, so... Alright, well, I guess we actually have a good enough car to potentially get the pull in this event. I don't know, but we got two more, or I think one more round to do. I'm not sure, but we'll try it. We'll try to get the pull to the final series of corners. Just trying to hit my marks, and I didn't hit my mark there. But yeah, we were a little bit back from the pull time. And we are trying really hard to just screw this all up, and... Um... Maybe... No... D ninth, okay. Well, that sucks. I really wanted the pull, and I could have had it, but I just, of course, like usual, throw it away. Very interesting top ten is Michael Waltrip's fifth. I, I, I don't understand that, but good for him. Almendinger is up there, so nice. And uh, Rudiman and Nemechek made it to the final round. Wow, I, I got no words, just wow. Here we go. Starting P9, we're on the inside line. That kind of rhymed, but what I meant about by cheesing is that I did a practice session, and I can make it on one stop. Barely, but it's doable. So, I, as long as it goes green all the way to the end, I mean, this will be pretty much an easy win. That's if it goes green. So, yeah, here we go. And that seemed like that starting grid took a very long time, a lot longer than usual. But it's okay. Just gonna try to take it easy. Brad kind of made a block on me there. It was weird. We'll just keep it to the bottom. We're actually gonna lose some spots. But yeah, all we have to do is just kind of ride this out, let it play out, try not to get in any sort of problems. And we should be very good to win this. So as you see, the Kamikaze Games thing is on the, 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 the thing, unlike it, unlike Daytona. So that's cool that's there. But yeah, it, this track, the AI are way better than what they were on Inside Line. Actually, the one corner that they're really... Okay, Nemechek, I'm sorry I touched you just that little bit, and he just, he, he didn't like it at all, because he just, he fidgeted around and just... He was very uncomfortable with that. It was, he made that point very clear. Inside. Now we've got to try to get by him. <sighs> what is it with... Holy shit, Colwitz dead! Clint Boyer! Stuart Haas again, even though it's not Stuart Haas. Clint Boyer! In... Oh, wait, just look. <laughs> just... Oh, my God. Um. Well, this is now going to make the race very interesting in terms of pit strategy. Um. Damn. I'm going to stay out. And a bunch of other people didn't. Um. We're 29th. Alright, well, I mean, we can make it a one stop from here on out. Now let's 
very clear we can pull that off. But I can't believe it. Colwitz still alive. He launched off those tire barriers. I, I, that's something. That's incredible. But goddamn it, Clint Boyer. I swear to God, it's he. I, I don't think I've had a driver that has been in my way or has caused me problems. Like. Clint Boyer has. Landon Castle, no. Oh, no. The brakes did not deploy. Oh, my God. And this is why you put brake upgrades in the car. I didn't do it enough. That looked really bad. Like, terribly bad. Like, oh, my God. We're staying out again. Uh, we didn't really gain that much spots compared to last time, so... That sucks. That's what I get for being... Uh, and we're next to Colwitt again. Hi. <laughs> well, this race is now going by very quick. Yeah, I really... If that, if that just played out, we would be so good right now. But now... We might be screwed. We're not going to be able to win. So that really sucks. Now we just gotta get through turn one without dying again. That was really pitiful. I thought I'd break that my normal zone, but I, I think I made, I think it was very obvious I did not. So we're take it easy. And there we go. We'll try to pit. We'll try to short pit a little bit and try to go on like lap ten to play it safe. And just that should be good. Good enough to at least maybe gain some time, maybe gain spots. I don't know, but that's. Really, the only thing we have right going for ourselves right now, and please let's just not be a dumbass and wreck people. That would be really good. What is wrong with me today? Like that was that was terrible. <laughs> good God, that was not even close to making that corner. I I'm just not with it today, apparently. I did it again. I did it again, and I'm dead. Oh my god. That, I'm amazed that didn't actually damage the car. Jesus, man. What is wrong with me? Well, Colwitz, right there behind. We're, we're just, we've just been together like this whole race, it feels like. Can I please pass him cleanly? That'll be like one of the first actual accurate clean passes we've had in multiple laps. And I still... Almost screw it up. Yeah, there we go. We're good. I just completely screwed this race for myself. This could have been an easy win if this just went green. I would have only had a pit once. I would have won this and I know, bit to victory lane with no problems, but of course not. It just it just had to go wrong in every possible way. I'm just gonna pit now and just get this undercut over with. A lot of cars are pitting too. Please don't speed. That's another thing I don't want to do wrong. There we go. I don't even know what to do for tires. We'll just go with, with four tires and fuel and repair damage. Do we even... Sure, it's only a second. Who cares? Okay, there we go. Out in the way, we're still 42nd, but I'm hoping that somehow, someway, we can still undercut someone. I have faith in that. Well, I, I really don't know how this is all going to shake out. But we did gain some spots, so it is a net, it is a net gain of something. Get by Rudiman here for 37th. And the other, the other thing, too, is I know from my practice session, some AI drivers pit around lap 6, some did on 7, some did 8, some did 9. So, even with these cars pitting now, they might still pit again, and therefore we can gain even more spots. It's still possible we could... Somehow salvage this race to get a at least a top twenty baby. I mean, it was kind of apparent apparent in qualifying. We did have speed. We just need to not be around people apparently. All right, so yeah, another group of people leaving pit road, and the field is thinned out a lot more now. As I just did a terrible job through turn one. It's like every chance I try to gain a spot, I actively just like sabotage myself. Well. I mean, we did cycle out better than where we were originally, which was like 42nd. 
We were a good bit back, it's just... Yeah, I mean, it was something. Now, and the only thing we can do now, I mean, we can gain some spots here and there with these couple of cars in front of me, but now we just have to totally bank on them pitting again, which it, it may happen. There we go. We already saw one of them head down here, which is Joe Nemechek, and a bunch of other people even behind me. So, yeah, it begins. We might not, might, might somehow, some way salvage a okay finish throughout all this, as long as I don't wreck myself, as I, oh my god. What's wrong with me today? Like, I, I, I practiced that there were, there were three wide through there. I practiced for this, and that sure as hell doesn't look like I did, because this is just pitiful. A bunch more people pitted, and we're 27. And I just missed my braking zone by a lot. Are we... Okay, we're good. Alright. Yeah, it's not over yet. We could still... If we get top 10 out of this, I'm going to consider that a win. <laughs> so... Here we go. We'll see how we'll see how this le uh, this next lap plays out. Oh my, we're gonna try to make a pass in the bus stop. That's that's a great idea. Holy shit, we have no brakes. That <laughs> we like JD McDuffie through that. It just it just didn't stop. Okay, well we gained a spot. And they that care so like the car just it has no rotation through there, and the AIs are very good through there. Just not strong whatsoever through that series of corners. And here we go again, trying to make a pass in like the worst corner that has been statistically shown to kill us multiple times in this race. And Reagan's pitting. Okay, okay. okay you. Yeah, more people down pit road, and there we go up to the top. Fifteen. To Damn near. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Damn, more people down pit road, and we just. Cycled into the top 10. <laughs> I'll take it. Jimmy Johnson's leading, which, I mean, he needs a win. And, oh my, that's gonna, that's gonna flip, that's gonna change the chase complexion even further if he wins this and gets in. Oh my god, this season just continues to throw me more curveballs than I was really anticipating. Alright, we do have a few more people down Piro. We'll move ourselves up to 5th. Third? I'll take it. So it looks like Jimmy Johnson and Kenseth are going to be the only two that are going to stay out. Well, there you go. Well, maybe I wouldn't have won this race. Maybe those two would have just stayed out anyways, and the universe would have just told me, hey, what if you would have gotten third anyways, so shut up about winning. <laughs> Though it does, we are very da we're dangerously close to running out of fuel. But that's how it was going to be originally. <laughs> anyways. So I don't know if Jimmy's going to pit off the final corner. They do do that in this game, so I don't really know. But yeah, this car sucks to drive. That's kind of... Kind of comes hand-in-hand hand with the car not being good right now. So through the final corner. Jimmy's gonna stay out. He's not gonna pit. Oh, he is! He is! <laughs> oh my god, Jimmy's gonna win the race by trolling the entire field and win coasting down pit road. What a fr... Unless it depends where his pit stall is. Oh my god, Kenseth can still win it. Nope, Jimmy did it. Oh my god, Kenseth pitted. <laughs> we'll take second. I'll I'll take it. <laughs> what the fuck is this race? I'll take it. I don't... <laughs> Jimmy won the race down pit road. Kenseth pitted. And I, I'm... I'm confused. I'm... I can't... I can't believe how that played out. Cole went... Lift off to Jupiter. And, oh my god. A rather realistic-ish top 10 for a road course, all things considered. Um, I don't see anything that looks really bizarre. Um, yeah, it somehow worked out in the end. How, I don't know. See, maybe the universe was telling me you weren't going to win, and you were going to get second, because Jimmy was going to co- that's the, I, that's the ultimate troll I've ever seen an AI driver do to me, ever. With the race by going down pit road and coasting. He, can you imagine if that race was like commentated in real life and that happened in that way? That would be really freaking funny. <laughs> but I'll take a second. Um, that's going to, yeah, like I said, change up the chase even further. And now that might put Tony Stewart outside the top 16, I think. I think I don't know. This 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 season just keeps getting more and more bizarre. After Watkins Glen, we 
actually gained in our points lead from Biffle. Oh. So, I, I don't even know anymore. So, Jimmy now with that win, he's above the top 16, I forgot. He did gain four spots, so he was kind of dangerously close to that bubble. So, how many people do we even have wins outside top 16 again? Um, one, two, three, four, five. And that one doesn't count because he is top, outside top 30, so that's five. Oh my god. So yeah, Jimmy Johnson's perfectly secure. So now the five drivers without a win is Newman, Kurt Busch, Tony Stewart, Tony Stewart, wow, Brad Keselowski, so that's four. And then the fifth one is Denny Hamlin in ninth. Wow, Harvick's the only one without a win that is, at the moment, safe. The entire, damn near the entire 16, and Sunoco with sponsorship. Well, that's cool. I'll add that into the car next race, but yeah. Next race will be Michigan, and should be a pretty standard race, as long as I'm not stupid, which, I don't know. I don't know if this was a my brain being a one-off and being just being stupid for that one race or what, but the spring race went very chill. And we got a top 15 out of it. And we're going into this now with a little bit more horsepower. So maybe we could do a little bit better. I don't know. But we'll see. Other than that, I mean, we're really close to starting this chase. We only have four more races until the regular season ends. And I really wish Tony Stewart got that one win. Because he would have been in the chase. And I would have been happy. But because... <sighs> I hope he wins. I hope he wins and gets in the chase because he deserves it. He doesn't deserve to be kicked out because I was too salty to sim the race. He deserved that W. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dell Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave. I've had a champ 15 racing news now. Alan Craig, Mars Sports Games, Robert Dillon, and Zach Page for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel. Every single month like this, it does mean a lot and it does go a very long way. So, like usual, thank you guys yet again for being so badass and awesome. I'll see you all in the next part. And hopefully it won't be another shit show. That somehow worked out in our favor, in a way. Yeah. Because then we got Bristol, and Bristol always scares the shit out of me because it is so... It's so intense and so goddamn scary. I don't know what to expect. So, yeah. Let's hope for, let's hope for a very chill Michigan race. That's what I want. I'll see you all next part, and I'll see you all later, and as always... Have a good day, everyone.